Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to episode 19 of the Platinum Walkthrough for Dark Cloud 2. So we are going to go right into the Giorama, but we need to get two followers to allow us to go further. So I'm just showing you guys how to get them. We need to get Donnie and Claire to join us. So, Donnie, you just need 3,000 coins, or you need to get lucky. So, pretty much just go to the future, go up to this NPC right here, buy a dark coin and an indestructible coin, and you just need to give those to Donnie and he'll join you. You can also get lucky and find them in dungeon floors, which is actually how I got both of mine. Okay, so now we need to go into the Rainbow Butterfly Wood. We're gonna go to the boss room. Alright, so we're just gonna snap a photo of the Lafricia stem, and that's all that we need to uh, get her to join us. So we're just going to head on over to Palm Brinks now. Channel entrance is where Donnie is. May as well show them our scoops while we're here. <laughs> Explorer shoes, it's cool. Be my friend, Donnie. You should know the answer to that, no way. Why should I have to work for the sake of others? There's not much in it for me and it's just too scary. As it's you, I suppose I could think about it though. But then I'm the son of a salesman and we don't do things for free. You probably know why that I collect coins. They're the symbol of business. I really want to complete my collection. But I just can't seem to get my hands on the dark coin and the indestructible coin. If you can help me, maybe I can help you. Huh? You got them? Unbelievable. Don't just stand there, gimme. Okay. Wow, I got them all, and I thought it was impossible. Well, I guess I got no choice now. I'd better go with you. That's it. Alright, so now we need to go pretty much all the way up to Max's house. Alright, this house right here. So right next to Max's house. Max's house is like four times the size of the mayor's house. It might be the other room. No, it's this one. So she's just right here. I wish I could help you up. Fighting's scary and I might get dirty. Okay, this doesn't really matter. I just wanted to read what Donnie had to say. So basically, you just show her the Lafricia stem, she joins your party. So, we only actually need two people for Fenicio. So, time to head on over. Alright, time for some Giorama. Alright everyone, so here's a list of everything you need to make, and we also have a material total list like usual. Just so you're aware, you can't make the windmill, and you can't make the lunastone lights at this exact moment in the game. You need to wait until after you save Shingala uh, from the device that he is being uh, controlled with. 
as we've seen. So once you take care of that, you can then progress in the dungeon and there's like six or seven more floors to go through and they all have geostones. Uh, once you get them, you'll be able to then make the windmill and the lunastone light. So right now we're only getting 55%. I'm going to have a timestamp in the description and a comment to link you to later in this video where we build the windmill and the lunastone light, which will give us 100% Giorama completion. Alright, so it's actually impossible to do 100% before you finish this place's story. Um, we don't have access to crafting everything at this exact moment in time. The only other things that we need are the Luna Lights and um, the Windmill that are unlocked from the Geostones a little bit later on. So make eight pier, four boats, uh, four sheds, and four houses. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up quickly. We're going to make it go out one more. Alrighty. We're gonna place these houses now. We're gonna put the uh, shed on top. Doesn't really matter where. Now we're also going to need to make a pot torch. Just one is fine. We'll put that right there. Okay, so we need to paint the homes. Okay, so make this one red. This one blue. You don't have to paint the shed. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. Uh, this one's purple. And this one is green. Okay, now we need to put down the boats next to each home. That should be it. We just have to move Claire in here. And then Donnie in over here. And then we should be currently at 55%. Boom. Okay, we will need more culture points so we can just build um, a brick house. And then we're going to also make a windmill later. It'll be up here. It's right there. And we'll make a chimney for it too.
our culture short our culture points should be good enough but we'll make one more thing just in case we'll just do a chimney I'm pretty sure the windmill gives 10 points of culture okay that's it that's all we can do for now um, the only other thing we need is 10 Luna stones and a windmill which we get access to after we go through the second half of this place in the Ocean Roars cave. I am going to make this a longer video so that we can kind of fit everything in. So I'll probably have this video titled as 100% Giorama, but I'm going to have the first half of Giorama as a timestamp to now and then the other 100% timestamp to later on in the video. Just so everything's here in one video and it's easily accessible. Hey, a building! Let's go check it out! Looks like there's another lab now. Let's go inside. Maybe someone's home. Top researchers at Lunar Lab. Can I help you? Really? That's great. We need your help. Could you lend us a hand? My hand? Oh, here you are. Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. So this sea dragon is under mind control. Well, in that case, we'll have to short out the device that's attached to its head. Yeah, shorting it out would work, but how? Hmm, to do that, there's an old invention that I think may help. An electric worm! Electric worm? How do we use that? Feed it to the dragon. When he eats this worm, it'll send a strong electric pulse that'll short out the device on his head. Great! Hey, wait a minute. Do Shigura even eat worms? Hmm. Good point. Shigura definitely eats fish, but maybe not worms. Hmm. In that case, feed the worm to a fish first. Then feed the fish to the Shigura. How's that? Sounds good. But wait, how are we going to get a fish to eat that worm thing? Do you always have to be so negative? I bet you don't have too many friends. That's not true. First you catch a fish, right? And then what you need to get the fish to eat the electric worm is... An aquarium. Fish pick and choose their bait when you're fishing, but in an aquarium, they'll eat almost anything. Oh, you already have one. Well, that makes things easier. Feed the electric worm to a fish in the aquarium. The fish will become electrically charged, and then you feed that to the Shigura. Simple, isn't it? Good luck. I hope it all works out. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Osmond.
cool. So, all we have to do is feed that worm to a fish, but not either of these fish, because these are uh, my important fish. <laughs> so, unless you really feel like losing out, you should uh, just give it to a fish that you're not worried about. Like, I've been, I've been boosting this one up, so I do not want to give it to him, because we'll lose him. Okay, so this guy is good enough to give it to. Alright. Okay, so we need to keep him in the aquarium. That's fine. Alright, so we're gonna leave this place for now. There's nothing else for us to do here. Okay, so it is a good idea if we save beforehand just in case something happens or some kind of weird glitch takes place. I don't know, anything's possible, it's just a good idea to save. So we are going to do just that. Dragon of the Sea. Alright, so before anything, take a picture of Shingala's face and you'll get Puppet Shingala. That's all you gotta do. Just make sure you get that picture. Once you have said picture, Save it to your idea book, but don't get rid of it, because we need to show it to Donnie. Cool. So that's one of the two missable scoops in this chapter. You can actually damage this guy, but... It's not really, uh... You don't really want to take him down or anything. Doing a little bit of damage is okay. Yeah, that tooltip pretty much just told us how it is. Okay, so if you mess up and the fish disappears, it'll just show up at the river at some point, and it's just right down over here. This right here. That's it. Exhausted. We'd better get him back to the water.
What are you doing following us in your condition? Huh? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? Max, Monica, I have a favor to ask. Go to the seashore where the other Shigura are and bring back some medicine that will work on Shingala. I can't get away from here myself. Oh boy. Okay, pal. We'll do it. We'll be back. But even if we do find this beach where the Shigura are, how are we gonna find the medicine? It might help if we could talk to the other Shigura. Maybe we can. I got an idea. Huh? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Luna Lab! Yep. I bet they could knock something together that'll let us talk to the sea dragons. I bet you're right. So, to start off, we are just going to go back to the cave and kind of clear everything out. And we'll go back and get that later. Okay. Just going to make a new save. Rather ominous music, huh? <laughs> Although knowing where else this theme song plays, it's just a, a warm-up. <laughs> this is also a scoop, but we're gonna get that in a later video with everything together, as we've done for the last three chapters. Let's just put this guy back in. Yes. Max's right hand weapon, huh? I don't see why it's not possible. How many more floors are there in total, actually? One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six. Well, since we're here, we may as well go for the hammer metal. <laughs> Unless all of our attacks just get guarded. Yeah, the fact that they survive by such a small amount, I think I might just, like, throw an attack crystal on here or something. Just one. I'll probably put the chill crystals that I have on here, too. It probably needs 80 attack and 80 chill. If I were to take a guess. Uh, right here. Cool. Let's just repair this. It's a little slow, but it still gets the job done.
stole soap. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's not like it's a useless item or anything. If we get gooed, we can use soap to get rid of it. Go Yone. I don't like fighting these things with a hammer, it just seems inefficient. I'm actually surprised three of those attacks even hit this thing, honestly. It's just a lot of these fish soldier things. A zappy, huh? I don't want to hit its electrical stuff back at it, because then I won't get the metal. Anti-Medusa. It seems like that attack upgrade was good enough, but I guess it doesn't matter if my attack just doesn't land to begin with. <laughs> the good old five hit combo. Let's just let this guy get closer to us. For some reason, I just don't think that's how you use a hammer, Max. That last attack where he just kind of jabs with a hammer, that's just kind of weird. It doesn't seem very practical. Oh yeah, there's a white seal on this floor too. So I should be a little bit more careful. I'm at half HP, so I really don't want to get hit again. I am definitely okay with the EVs that I'm getting, though. Okay. So that's not the route that we're going to take this time. A lot of chests here. I wonder if one of them's a mimic. Yep, as soon as I said it. Oh my goodness. I actually don't even think I can use soap, can't- no, it counts as a healing item, so I'm kind of screwed there. So I'm at like a pretty big disadvantage right now. I have to be very careful. Maybe the best way to deal with the fish guys is to do a charge attack first to knock them down and then I can just kind of lay into them. Okay, well these guys aren't that bad because every hit staggers them. Uh, uh, well, I guess we aren't getting the metal. <laughs> do I have the Luna Stone? Because if I do, I'm just going to leave. No, so we have to keep fighting anyway. Can I equip this? Huh, I'm surprised, because he is dead right now. Oh well, it happens. I Okay, well there's the stone, so we may as well just kind of leave now. That's unfortunate, oh well. It happens.
That's the thing that I don't really like about the hammer, is because it's slow to use. And then especially if you get gooed like that, you're even slower. It's why I usually prefer playing with the ultimate wrench, but the ultimate wrench does not let you get the platinum, so we are not playing with the ultimate wrench for that reason. Banquet of the Dead. There's probably be a lot of undead enemies. I mean, it's kind of in the title, so <laughs> if I were to take a guess, let's just get out of here and go back in so we have full HP. Let's take a look at our weapons. What's her sword looking like? Okay, I think I'm gonna keep playing as Max for now. There's a forced Monica floor later anyway, so we'll get a little bit more action on her. Or we'll get we'll get a little bit more action with Monica at that point. I hate these kind of enemies. Especially fighting them with the hammers. Not ideal. At least they take a lot of damage. <laughs> oh crap. I am terrible with this game, <laughs> apparently. I'd honestly, I just didn't really know that these guys hit through your block. Yeah, I'm just getting completely destroyed, seriously. I, I'm gonna use one of these. Okay, so these things are not to be trifled with. They deal a decent amount of damage even if you're blocking. Sooty. This thing does not take a lot of damage. I need exorcism for the next upgrade, right? No. Alright, what a, what a rocky start. Hopefully uh, it gets a little bit better from here. I guess we're playing with Monica now whether we like it or not. <laughs> Well, here's the Geostone, and probably a Mimic. I just kind of have a feeling it is. No. Hornhead. Not worth the risk. Definitely not worth the risk. I just should have just walked by it. Okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna actually use items. Seriously, I don't really have much choice. This is kind of a dangerous situation here. Needed some of those, so that's a good drop. Okay. 
I don't want to go crazy using my bombs, because these are fightable encounters. Some of them just take a little bit of time. In her Monica-only floor, there are a few enemies for her. It's just hard for her to take them out, because she just doesn't have enough smash on her weapon yet. Okay, so we're gonna leave right now. I've literally never used this thing and it's almost plus four. <laughs> well, I'll be able to kind of break it down for stats, so it's not that big of a deal. All right, onward. <laughs> I think the next one is, yeah. Clear all without healing. I think I'm at max health already. New save, because it seems like I die on every floor. Although we only get one chance on this floor, so maybe it's better if we just don't die. Alright, I already hear the first enemy that Monica can't handle by herself. Ah, ex the exit right at the entrance. Well, it's certainly convenient, probably. <laughs> Rag stink. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember I would, um... If you don't have items about a valid way to uh, take out the big guys is to let rag stink throw fire fireballs at your blade and then you can just kind of shoot the fireball at the vanguard to do some big damage so that is an option if you don't have items or you run out wow we literally have everything that we need to just complete this floor right off the bat oh yeah these guys uh take a lot of items Hopefully there aren't too many of those things, because I do want to clear this floor. Since we're here, we may as well, right? <laughs> this is a very small floor, however. Right here. Maybe I'll let this thing... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, give me give me all those ice balls. That's weird. And he's not doing it, so let's just take him out. I don't have all day. This might be doable in the... Um, five minutes that we have. All right, that was close. A little nerve-wracking, but we got it. <laughs> well, this is awkward. Let's just fix this up. Fishing contest is going on. I'm not too worried about that. That is beautiful. Thanks, Rag Stink, for giving me your firepower. Literally. <laughs>
I'm not too worried about the time challenge, but I do want to clear this floor at least. An improved camera angle would help. If you take out an enemy with the fire blast thing, it'll give you experiences if you use an item. AKA, it'll split your experience with both of your weapons equally. Neo Vanguard. Oh, our Brassard's plus five now, so more points. Or uh, I'll be able to break it down for efficient spectrumization. <laughs> okay, well, I know both enemies are to Vanguard, so I definitely can clear this. Well, there go all my bombs, but the floor is cleared. Did we beat the time challenge? No. So we will play Speeda. I don't know why I didn't take the teleport. Well, it's not very far of a run anyway. How many shots do we have for this? Three, that I'm not gonna get I'm not I'm not gonna get cocky because that did not work out last time, but this should one hundred percent be enough. Like if it's not then I, I should just stop playing speed. Oh my goodness. I am horrible at this man. Why? Why am I messing this up? It's so easy. This is actually to <sighs> I literally can't do this now. Why? Oh man, I, I, I should just stop talking about the speeda. Seriously, I literally can't even beat this now. And in fact, I'm stuck in place, so let's try and knock this out of here so I can actually leave. This game can be pretty glitchy sometimes. Maybe it's because it's 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm still waking up that I just can't play this. Oh well. Seriously, I've messed up every single attempt at Speeda in this entire dungeon so far. Well, at least we got the clear all without healing thing. Return of the Serpent. Well, speaking of that, we should probably go have uh, Cedric fix the ride pod up for us. Yeah, we'll buy the next core, why not? Then the hyper core, and then I think there's one more after. Let's buy some shield kits. 
Steve takes way too much damage. We're, we're gonna buy this just because it's cool. <laughs> it's unfortunate that you have to reopen his shop every time to buy a new shield kit. Cool. Time to go back to the dungeon. This is a Steve only floor. As long as I don't mess up again. <laughs> oh, the Finny Frenzy's open now, what comes huh? After the vision contest. The Finny Frenzy. Finny Frenzy? That's right. Contestants race their fish of choice to see which one is the fastest. Great idea, Mayor. You outdid yourself this year. <laughs> Well, the Finny Frenzy is like my favorite mini game. Okay, how much time do we have to get to it? Oh, so the Finny Frenzy is not even playing right now. Okay, we're gonna have to wait for the fishing contest to end first, I guess. That's okay, I suppose. It's literally like these guys were designed to have just enough HP for where you can't one combo them. That's kind of annoying, actually. I've, def I've definitely neglected Steve's energy pack and armor. It's like all these enemies are designed to survive the three-hit combo, unfortunately. Steve's ranged weapons are normally better, but it's paired best with high movement speed legs, because then he can just avoid everything while doing maximum damage from range. That's good. I have a feeling that room at the bottom left might just be some big open room. Although it may also be the beach. I'm gonna take a risk and go there, because maybe it'll save us backtracking time later. Perhaps. There's only one way to find out. Sea Serpent. This does not look as intimidating as the one from Chapter 2. In fact, that was really easy. I guess these swords are enhanced with lightning, so it makes sense that it will easily take them out. Yeah, these swords are literally designed for taking out enemies like that. Beast scale and lightning. Okay, well it looks like both routes are viable. Nice. So where does this take us? I'm still kind of upset about that that last mission, Speeda. That was pretty much a free win and I messed it up.
Okay, here we go. Here's the mimics. I wonder, are mimics an armored enemy or are they counted as a beast? Oh, every single one was a mimic, huh? where having the swords is a good thing because you can block. Taking those things out with uh, the barrel cannon is a nuisance. Is this the exit or is it just some random room where the geostone is? Only one way to find out. <laughs> nah, just some random room where the geostone is. This is like super RPG, it's kind of cool. <laughs> At the end of the beach, there is a cave. In that cave has the stone you seek, and it is protected by a fish warrior. I just made that sound so much cooler than it actually was. <laughs> I tried to say two words at the same time, it came out weird. Probably a king mimic on the beach. Ah, yes. When there's only one unopened spot on the map, that's when we get the map. A lot of loot. I'm genuinely surprised that I haven't seen a King Mimic yet. It's probably this last chest down here. There's like an 80 or 90% chance the last one's a King Mimic. There's usually at least one per floor. On floors that have Mimics anyway. Huh. Alright then. I, li I have so much sturdy cloth, I'm probably never going to have to buy it ever again. Like, I probably only need like 20 more cloth for the entire game, and I have, what, 105? The worst kind of enemy, but this is doable if I time it pro properly. If I time it properly, if, and it's a big if apparently, and I really hope I don't have to use a ride pod fuel just for this. Oh my goodness, you suck. Oh, come on, man. Get off the ride pod. I don't want to burn through my last HP. Come on, jump at me. That is such a pain. Seriously, I hate that. That is so annoying. <laughs> that is really annoying. I have absolutely no choice and that is very frustrating. The absolute worst kind of enemy to have to fight. And I still can't even get a freaking hit off. Okay, there we go. That was a hard earned medal. Still gonna have to redo this floor anyway, though. But we got our medal, so no big deal.
I don't really mind the metalhead achievement, but it is literally do everything twice. Except the second time, do it perfectly. <laughs> Alright, Max's right hand weapon. Who knows how that'll go down. <laughs> well, it's time to uh, make a new save. It's time to enter the cursed sea. And attack everything with just our right hand weapon. I really want to try and get 40 medals by the time we're done this place, so it would be ideal if we can get this medal. We need 40 medals to buy the uh, name change ticket from Mayor Need. We don't have him as a follower yet, but the next three or four videos are going to be kind of well connected together. Let's just check out the top portion. Figured it, or figured that there would be at least something up here. He's the only one. I don't know why I didn't expect that. For some reason I thought he was gonna do his jab attack. Glad that I can heal if need be. <laughs> the pirate tank. Just don't attack that. <laughs> Seriously. Shiva. I think this game actually came out before Final Fantasy X. But uh, Shiva in Final Fantasy X looks a lot better. <laughs> I think I'm gonna heal just in case. Eat some cheese, fix my hammer. We're out of chill crystals, right? Yes. Unfortunately. I can just buy some. But I would rather get some to drop instead. Because <laughs> I can I can upgrade this hammer right now, probably, if I had the crystals. That was a lucky dodge. It makes sense that the hammer is effective against the undead. Well, the skeleton, anyway. Max is literally crushing the thing's bones on every attack. So it makes sense that it would do big damage. I think it's time we feed our fish. We'll give him a petite fish. <laughs> That's kind of an annoying glitch. Now the music in this dungeon is gone from opening the aquarium. Only the battle music will remain. It's not that big of a deal, but it's very noticeable. It's kind of a silly glitch. Got a mimic. And poison. And now I also need to eat something, of course.
I've had very poor gameplay in this dungeon for some reason. So sorry about that. I just keep getting hit by everything. And I mean, Max literally died twice, so yeah. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this master jacket. I, I, I don't wanna, this works too. If I take this thing on, it should be by itself. Repair powder. I don't like I don't like his kick attack. It's very inefficient and it does not do a lot of damage. Ah, two of them together. Can I separate this one at all? It seems so, that's good. Stuck on the rock. Anyway, should use that. Pirate tank, aka the metal the metal breaker. Okay, I'm not gonna pretend like this is going smoothly, but it it's definitely going kind of. <laughs> this might be the last room. Now there's uncleared map in the top left, so there's maybe another floor. A lot of chests. So probably a lot of mimics. One of these is the map. Okay, so there is a reason to opening the chest up here then. Because it could be loot, or a mimic, who knows. <laughs> well, the fact that it could be a mimic, we'll just open it right now. It's not a mimic, okay. Water elements. Yeah, I'm definitely missing the music right now. It's too quiet. Alright, another one of these things. Hopefully that's the last one. No, nope, one more. All right. I have no choice but to repair. All right, that's it. Well, we got our metal, that's good. No speed on this floor. I could probably try for the fishing goal, but I'm, I want to see what the metal on the last floor is. Worst case scenario, I'll just get a metal off camera. Right here. Let's 
time for the final floor. <laughs> after we save. Because saving after every, every single floor is required, apparently. All right, Monica's sword, that might be possible. In the sea of atrocity. <laughs> we'll start off with just using Monica. I don't see why this won't be possible. Unless they're to drop like 17 vanguards on top of me or something. I don't know if there are any vanguards in this last floor. Eat fish. May as well feed my fish. Please don't get rid of the music. Don't get rid of the music. Okay, cool. The music's still there. <laughs> Just two massive rooms. There's still the beach, too, probably. So this is a big floor. So far, I'm thinking this metal should be achievable. Feasibly. so he takes two hits to stagger. That's good to know. Let's just handle this enemy up here. There's two, actually. Let's just eat something. Oh man, I only have crunchy bread. It's not ideal. Let's get some smash on here. I'll just put it all on here. It's probably not enough. No. Kind of figured. It probably needs 80 of everything. Okay, that's the exit. There's probably going to be backtracking on this floor. Unless the beach also opens up at the other end. Hopefully it does, that would be nice. Anything that prevents backtracking is a good thing in my books. <laughs> These guys are easy, they just take a lot of hits. 
All right, so yeah, there's gonna be backtracking. Oh well. Okay, this might be a tougher enemy. So, I mean, technically it does damage to me, but it's zero points. <laughs> That wasn't so bad. Oh no, there is another entrance at the top. That's good. There's probably a mimic or two here. Okay, that's not what I was hoping for. Oh well. There are probably mimics here. It's a good thing I put smash on my weapon. So if you're going for a sword only metal, do not use the sword charge ability at all. If you even throw out one of the elemental abilities, you're not going to get the uh, metal. I like how this sword is literally meant for slaying serpents, and then when I actually fight a serpent with it, it's not very strong at all. <laughs> Surprised I haven't seen a mimic yet. Maybe there are no mimics on this floor? As soon as I say that, I was thinking there's probably a king mimic too. Oh, oh yeah, I'm happy I put smash on my weapon. So yeah, I think it is smash that these things are weak against. So it's good to know. I really don't want to go around eating all my crunchy bread because... It seems like I don't really have a choice now, do I? Okay, the best way to handle these is to get behind them. Alright, just one of these guys. Still a decent amount of mobs left. We gotta be careful. Although it seems like there's no vanguards, which is good. Ah yes, the good old backtrack. <laughs> It is what it is. I'm only gonna heal if I get hit one more time. Oh yeah. Okay, so he is going to attack me, right when I don't want him to. That's usually how it works, though. I, I literally don't even know how that thing freaking hit me. Oh my goodness. Why am I using all of this item right now? Seriously. This is what happens when you are not well prepared. Let's take care of this thing, it's what's doing the damage to me. Alright. I'm really not doing too well in this game today. Three more enemies. 
Well, unless that chest is a mimic. And there's four. What if I do this? Why didn't I think to do that before? That's so much easier. Oh my god, of course it had to be a King Mimic too. Okay, well I'm gonna lure this thing over here. I'm definitely gonna have to repair my weapon. Okay, the best way to fight these things is from behind. I'm honestly worried that if that thing hits me, it'll kill me. Alright, cool, we got it. Okay. Let's get Sudi over here. There we go. Lure him away from the serpent, because that serpent is dangerous. I hear that thing moving, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> Maybe that's just the four cups of coffee I've had. <laughs> okay, this thing has a lot of aggro bars, which is good. Oh, well that was easy. Cool. <sighs> 40 medals. 40 medals. That's it. Nice. Easy. No. Okay. Well, we're done in this place now, so it's time to get out of here. We can finish off our Giorama now, too. shouldn't be able to do anything here right now. Phew. Looks like this is Shigura Village. But how are we ever going to find the medicine? This slightly different colored one is their elder. But if we try and talk to him... This is hopeless! We can't understand them! What do we do? We finish the Giorama and go to the future. <laughs> Alright, so this is how you finish the Giorama. After you cleared all the floors, you're able to make everything else that you need. Okay, so we're just going to make a windmill. Just one. <laughs> and we're going to make... If we can find it. Now you should only need eight, but I just make ten. Now, let's see, are we actually able to place this thing? Yes. This is definitely not a very practical town. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you put them, just as long as they're down somewhere. So, that is 100% Giorama. That's actually all you gotta do. I know it says 55%, but like Balance Valley, you have to actually beat the final boss, and 
that is all you do for the last 45% in this level. So this right here is 100% Giorama. You have the eight pieces up here, the windmill. I have this house here just for culture points. We're at 88 right now. Um, we have our four boats, the four houses, red, blue, green, purple, and we have these 10 stones right here. You only need eight, but I have 10. And this is 100% Giorama. That's all you need to do. Now we can just go to the future and get what we need. And then we'll go beat the boss, and then we come back and we automatically have 100% Giorama. Time to go to the future. So we're going to go on over to the red lab for now. And then they should send us over to the blue lab. And the purple and green lab are just kind of extra, <laughs> honestly. We're just going to talk to the sixth character from Dark Cloud 1. <laughs> okay. So it seems like we just kind of go over to the blue lab then and that's it. Monica does run slightly faster than Max, so if you want to be the most efficient, then run with Monica. It is a very slight difference, but it is there. Hey there, I'm Dr. Knob. I'm the head researcher here. But you're a... I know what you're thinking. What's a kid doing in a place like this, right? Yeah, how come? You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. This lab relies on sheer ability. The more brains you have, the higher your position. It's only natural. So that means you're the smartest person here then? I guess you could say that. By the way, I know about you folks recovering the origin points Griffin destroyed. And now you're on a quest to restore the world. I just had the computer run an analysis. I even know what you're searching for. What? Really? A device to talk to sea dragons, right? Huh? Don't you want to go 10,000 years in the past? Oh, well that too. But first we need a machine to let us talk to those sea dragons. A Shigura translation device. We already have one of those. There's one already? Yes, Shigura are very important creatures to us here at the lab. Once a year they come from the south island to the shore here. When they do, they bring a stone called the Luna Stone with them. That stone has the mysterious ability to rapidly increase human brain power. Thanks to the Luna Stone, this lab is home to the world's best thinkers. So it's vital that we be able to communicate with the Shigura too. And that's why we've already developed a Shigura translation device. Hey, you! Yes, sir? Go get me the shell talkie. Yes, sir. Thanks. Here you go. So we can talk to the sea dragons with this. Well, sort of. You'll only be able to understand Shigura with a comparatively high level of intelligence. Not Shigura children, for example. 
I guess that means a chat with Shingala is out. Thanks, Dr. Knob. We'll be back. See you then. All right, so now we just need to go back to the village. Well, the boss room, but it is also the village. <laughs> This place has nice music, too. Let's see if we can feed our fish. Okay, so we're just gonna head on over and we are going to save before we go in. There is a missile scoop with this fight, so be prepared for that. Okay, so we need to go and talk to the Elder, the one over here. The other ones you can pretty much ignore. <laughs> this guy right here is who will be the conversation. I am Baru, the Shigura tribe Elder. We rarely see humans here. What is it you want? Well. Actually, we have a favor to ask. A favor? What is it? There's an injured Shigura on the far shore. Human medicine isn't doing any good, so we need some Shigura medicine. A Shigura? Hmm. Then it must be one that got separated from my tribe. I think so. I must be getting old if I can't even keep my own tribe together. All right, take this then. The secret dragon remedy. It should work on our lost Shigura's injuries. Care for him well. Thank you, Elder. Come on, let's hurry back to Pao's place. Sure thing! So we do need to manually just run there. No shortcuts. Right here. A, a potion that heals Shigura's injuries.
What's that? Don't tell me it's... This is a very unique time because they don't play this cool music here ever again after this. I know time's of the essence, but we gotta feed our fish. <laughs> Time to save on up again. on as Shingala did. They're being controlled. That Gaspard, he doesn't stop at anything. <laughs> How do you like my new invention, the marionette? Now the Shigura are under my complete control. So you're the one that put that thing on Shingala. Oh, you mean that Shigura calf? Why, yes, that was my work as well. I had quite a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> you won't get away with this! Why, you little loudmouth! Just what do you plan to do, eh? I think I'll just have my Shigura toy with you for a while. How does that grab you? <laughs> Alrighty, so, so if you missed the flying battleship scoop in chapter 3, you can get it again here by just snapping the photo of it right there, and you're also going to want to get a picture of Dr. Jamming as well. So he is the last missable scoop in this chapter. All you do is take a picture of him and that's it. That's all you do. Make sure you don't delete the photo because we need to show it to Donnie. That's it. It's all the missable scoops in this in this episode or in this chapter. Okay, so for the fight, all we gotta do is hit the puppet as um, Doctor Jamming is flying above it. That's it. That's all the fight is. Just hit the Shigura as uh, this guy's flying above it. It takes like four or five hits to take him out. You do have to kind of play around with the camera angle a bit, which can take some time to get used to. It's a little stiff, unfortunately. Alright, one more should be good enough. Maybe two.
One more. There we go. Thank you for saving us. Who were those people? They're the Dark Forces sent by Emperor Griffin. Emperor Griffin? That's right. He and his henchmen are trying to undo history. I don't know what he's after exactly. But I do know that if we don't stop him, our world may be destroyed. I see. I had no idea. I truly must be getting old. I should have known what was going on in the world. My days as the elder of this tribe are coming to an end. Max! Monica! Hey, it's Pow! are the one who rescued our stray tribe member? Oh, no, it's nothing, really. So, it was you, was it? This child's mother was lost on this trip. Even for the Shigura, an expedition of this kind is never easy. It's a long journey. And we lose many along the way. Sadly, this child's mother was one of them. With his mother gone, I am sure he thought of you as his own parent. Oh. I don't know how to thank you. This child will grow up to be a fine Shigura, thanks to your kindness. Oh, stop it, Shingala. Our tribe must return south now. So this is goodbye. We must part for now. Thank you for all you have done. May you have good fortune in your travels. Farewell, all of you. Take good care of yourself, Shingala. I know you'll grow up to be a great Shigura. Hey, it's hard for me to say goodbye too, you know? Go on, off you go. Shingala! 
I know you'll come back someday. I'll be waiting for you. <coughs> Bye, Shingala. Take care. So the sea dragon, Shingala, after seeing the kindness of humans, set out on his own journey across the wide seas. Every year from that day, Shingala continued to bring Luna Stones to this shore, and when he did, he always looked for Pau. Shingala never for a moment forgot the special days that he spent with Pau. And then, 20 years later, thanks to the biggest load of Luna Stones ever, brought by the new Shigura elder Shingala, the world's premier research center, Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory was finally completed. It's kind of bittersweet. <laughs> All right, so as I said, we're now at 100%. All we had to do was finish up that scenario there. You came at a good time. I've just finished my latest creation. Take a look. What's that? It's a Nova Cannon. It's a weapon that uses the sun's energy to generate a powerful beam. Attach this to your ride pod, and then you'll have nothing to fear. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dr. Osmond. No problem. That's the 100% uh, award, or reward, I should say. It's uh, a very powerful weapon. It is a ranged weapon, but it's very strong nonetheless. Well, looks like you did it. Guess my invention came through for you. He just says the same thing. Okay, so we need to leave and then come back in. One more time. Okay. So now we should be able to just go into the uh, middle lab. It's also possible we have to go into the blue lab first, but we're just going to start with the middle one. Okay, this is the right one. Just think of what I can make with all this! This is Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory, the greatest research facility in the world. This is the central lab, the biggest research room of them all. Hey, I bet they can make something to send us back 10,000 years here. I bet you you're right. Thanks to you, the lab's been completely restored to its former state. I really appreciate it. Now let me explain my plan for getting you to Griffin 10,000 years in the past. Really? 
Sure, there's nothing this Luna Lab can't do. Oh, wow! Ixion, a time-traveling locomotive. A fantastic non-stop express that can cross both time and space. When this is finished, you'll be able to travel 10,000 years into the past, where Griffin is. Amazing! How much longer will it take? Let's see. Let me check. Dr. Jamming. Jamming? What? Now hold on a minute. This is not the same jamming that attacked you back in the past, okay? Well, not exactly the same anyway. He happens to be his grandson. Dr. Jamming's grandson? I'm terribly sorry. It seems my grandfather caused you a lot of trouble. Please accept my apology. However, without my grandfather's research, I would have never been able to develop the Ixion. My grandfather was researching technology that would allow objects to float on the air using sound. He called this his aeroharmonics flying technology. However, he came to a dead end in his research and became desperate. That's when Gaspar persuaded my grandfather into becoming one of Griffin's servants. But when he lost that battle to you two, he had a change of heart. He rededicated himself to his research and was able to perfect his aeroharmonics technology. He perfected aeroharmonics? Many flying vehicles were developed after that based on his technology. Of course, the Ixion here takes advantage of the same technology, and by combining it with the space-time control panel I developed, my grandfather has passed away. But before he died, he told me I should use his research for something good and just. I try to carry on his wishes, and I think that by continuing his research, this world can truly be saved. Dr. Jamming, he was quite a guy. Yes, and you helped him become the man he was. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say... But that's strange. In the history I know, aeroharmonics technology was never perfected. Our travels must be creating a new history for the world. Do you think that's okay? Well, I'm still getting the hang of this, but I'm thinking that maybe history as you know it is not necessarily the one true history. Huh? As well as fixing the flow of time that Griffin has disrupted, we've also been able to add new flows to it. And though these have been different from the original flows, maybe they're meant to be the real world history. Ultimately, you could say that even Griffin himself is playing a necessary part in creating a new, complete history. Griffin? Necessary? You can't be serious! Well, why not? Doctor, something terrible's happened! The rebel forces in the West are coming under attack from Griffin! What? Attacked? Get me Elena! Huh? Elena, your name, mother. Just who is my mother? And why isn't she with us? Even my own father wouldn't answer my question. Now I realized that father hoped I would find out those answers for myself. Doctor, this is Elena. We're fighting Griffin's main army over here. If it carries on like this, Griffin will probably attack the Luna Lab too. Be careful. Mother? Is that... Is that Max? Yes. You mean this boy is Elena's... That's right. Max is Elena's son. 
Max, I'm sorry. I'll bet your father never told you what happened to me. That's right. But why? Max, we live in different worlds. What? It's all right, Max. I'll explain everything. I'll tell you why I couldn't go on living with you. But to explain that, I need to explain what's going on in this world now. This theme song is in Dark Cloud 1, and it's really good. What do you mean by that? I'm from the future, just like Monica. Our time has changed greatly because of the devastation caused by Emperor Griffin. We couldn't let Griffin get away with it. So the people of our time formed a rebel force to fight against him. But Griffin began to use the power of the stone. Stone? One of the fabled Atlamilia stones that possess great powers. Powers that can move the earth and control time. Griffin harnessed that power to rewrite history bit by bit. He turned on people and erased their very existence from history. Atlamilia are strange jewels with a will of their own. They choose their owners themselves. Legend has it that Atlamilia will only choose for their owners people of good heart. We don't know how Griffin has managed to get his hands on one of the Atlamilia. But the fact is, he can use the power of that stone. And for us to be able to fight him, we needed one too. Three Atlamilia exist in the world. The first is the Sunstone, which Griffin possesses. The other two are the Moonstone, which emits a blue light, and the Earthstone, which emits a red light. Griffin tried to increase his powers by gaining possession of the remaining two Atlamilia. So we searched for the remaining two stones. First, we traced the owner of the Moonstone. That was Monica's father, King Raybrandt. At first we thought we could inherit the Atlamilia from King Raybrandt to help us in our fight against Griffin. But the stone wouldn't accept any one among us as its owner. And so, in the end, we were unable to get the stone. We guarded King Raybrandt, so that the stone would not fall into Griffin's hands. We decided to protect the person that the stone had chosen from the threat of Griffin. But Griffin was devious, and he assassinated King Raybrandt. Griffin didn't get his hands on the stone, though. The stone refused to become Griffin's, and instead chose King Raybrandt's daughter, Monica, as its new owner. That's how the second stone came to be Monica's. And so we looked for the last remaining Atlamilia, the Earth Stone. But we couldn't find it, because it didn't exist in our time. According to the prophecy of the great sage, Crest, the Earth Stone existed 115 years in the past. Its owner was a young boy called Gerald. We knew that Griffin would use his powers to travel through time and go back to Gerald's era looking for the stone. In order to protect the Red Atlamilia, I traveled to Gerald's time. And I made it my job to protect him. But during the time I was with Gerald, I fell in love with him. And then, Max, you were born. The first five years of your life went by in a flash. But then I had to return to my own time, because the war against Griffin was intensifying. I said goodbye to you and Gerald, and I returned to my time. I haven't been able to see you since. My mother is... from the future? That's right, and we are the ones that were chosen by these two Atlamilia. But I... I was just given this stone by my father. No, not exactly. Your father couldn't even touch it anymore. He must have realized the stone had chosen a new owner. Gerald couldn't touch it himself, but he saw you could play with it without effect. The Atlamilia chose you as its new owner, so Gerald let you have it. 
I think that the Atlamelia have reasons for who they choose as their owners. There's probably even a reason why Griffin was chosen. A reason he was chosen? That's right. Like what? That I don't know. But the stones are guiding people for the sake of something great. I can just feel it. I'm sorry. It looks like we haven't any more time to talk. We'll just wait a little longer. If we can recreate Pasnos, we'll have a chance to fight back. Recreate Pasnos? But how? Max and Monica will recreate its origin point, of course. The origin point of Pasnos is a workshop in Heimrada, a village at the foot of Mount Gondor. You'll have to head there. But Mount Gondor is a dangerous place. I'm not sure if you... We'll be fine, Elena. Just leave it to us. Don't worry, Mother. I'll save you. Just stay here. Max... Okay. Take care, both of you. You bet! Hurry now and set out for your next goal. The Volcano of Mount Gundor. A huge factory, the Gundorado Workshop, will be built there in the future. That's where the Rebellion Army's ace in the hole, Pasnos, will be built. Pasnos? It was the mobile stronghold of our rebel army. Griffin wiped Pasnos out, but if we could bring it back, I bet we can make a counterattack. Then let's go to Mount Gundor! Hey, Max! Monica! How's that bridge? We finished the repairs ages ago, guys! Then let's head for Mount Gundor! All right! Here we go! Mount Gundor, here we come! Chapter 5, Conflict of the Past and Future What's this? It's raining embers! Something is definitely up! The village of Heimrada should be here at the foot of Mount Gundor. But I guess it got wiped out, too. Let's keep going, then, Monica. Be careful out there, you two. There's nothing much we can do this time, so we'll just take it easy on the train, okay, guys? If you need any help with anything, just let us know. All right, everyone. So we are going to leave it here for this episode, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.